man you're ever going to meet. Okay, he's not a rock star. Say hello to my little friend, David Comatoy. Hey, everybody, it's David Comatoy. Thank you for joining us live on Ustream.tv as well as DavidComatoy.com. On the show, we talk about entertainment, entrepreneurship, and internet marketing. We're going to cover all of it today. Uh, it's part of the format that we're doing uh, a switch. You know, back in the day, I used to do the radio show, and we went five days a week, one hour a day. And in the process, hey, Chris Eater. Um, and in the process of uh, doing the show, what happened was that, uh, you know, I realized uh, when we switched to live that we could do more programming on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we're covering it all, entertainment, entrepreneurship, internet marketing. And uh, also in the process of doing the show, we've uh, picked up some more, you know, some very cool people that will be joining us. Uh, today on the show, uh, we're going to give Mark Christopher Lawrence a call in just a moment. As you know, the television sh series season has started, and all the shows have hit. There's some... Very cool new shows. I want to talk to Mark about that, as well as the Emmys, what he thought about what happened on the Emmys, uh, as well as um, what's going on with his current show, Chuck. Uh, it is in the season. They're holding off on, on actually launching it for that reason. Oh, I think that's him right now. Is that you, Mark? Hello? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Hold on. Let me put you in. Hold on. Hello, Mark Christopher Lawrence. Welcome to the show. Can you hear me now? Yes. Perfect. Very cool. Hey, so Mark Christopher Lawrence, star of NBC's Chuck, joins us on the show. Uh, we're recording, so everything's moving correctly. Just want to say uh, thank you for being on the show once again, sir. Thanks for having me. Hey, so uh, some of the stuff that we're going to do today, we're going to take more of a, a fun sort of uh, talk radio format as we did back in the day instead of trying to be so hurried about this uh, this time and we've got a few people that we're going to call but before we do that I want to do the check in with Mark Christopher Lawrence Mark what's the update on your end what's happening with, with you right now uh, right now I'm just uh, you know uh, looking at what I can eat for dinner because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm on the trail of uh, some lost poundage and um you know, really kind of monitoring what I'm eating and and uh, incorporating that into my workouts and all that kind of stuff. Well, I, that's good. Well, you know, one of the things that we, we talk about on this show um, consistently is traits of success. Uh, you know, some people call it self-help, whatever. But the reality is, is that I've worked with both entertainers and entrepreneurs over the years. You find out that we all have the same problems. I mean, we all basically want to be healthier. We want to make more money. And we'd like to have, you know, more joy in our lives. So, uh, my question to you is, what was the impetus on starting the, uh, you know, the, the getting fit camp? Because you've lost, like, what, 24, 25 pounds? Uh, about, uh, probably about 25 as of, as of this week. As of last week, it was about 23 in six weeks. And uh, the impetus is, you know, I'm, uh, as my character on Chuck, you know, he eats a lot. He eats donuts and stuff like that. And in real life, I don't eat that kind of stuff. Right. And so because of that, I think um, I got into this sort of lackadaisical mode of uh, working out. And, and I was eating that stuff at work. And, uh, you know, I picked up a few pounds and decided, you know, I needed to be a leaner, meaner Big Mike. Oh, got it, got it. Well, that's cool. And, and again... Um, you and I both know, I mean, you know, you're, you, you, generally your stature doesn't change on camera. It's really, unless you, you're seriously, uh, you know, gaining a lot of weight, uh, gait, winning, gaining or losing a lot of weight, it doesn't really show. You're still Big Mike. I mean, right, you can well, be muscular I've looked, Big I've Mike. I've looked the same since kindergarten. <laughs> uh, people roll up on me in the middle of the streets going, hey, you're Mike Lawrence. Yeah, I am. We went to kindergarten together. Uh, okay, I don't remember you, but I look the same. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yes, I know. I, I totally get that. I get that too. <laughs> yeah, and so and so, uh, you know, for me, I mean, even when I lose weight, I'm still a big guy. I mean, even when I'm at my optimal weight, you know, I got really wide shoulders. I'm a big guy. Sure, sure. No, absolutely. And uh, once again, yeah, we'll start the picture-in-picture uh, -picture roll. I put together. A new uh, P and P for us. Let's see. Like, hold on a second. There's a. Oh, there's one. Let's see. Let's add the Mark Christopher Lawrence loop. Perfect. Look, and there you are. Uh, once again, it's uh, we're uh, on the phone with Mark Christopher Lawrence. If you're just joining us, we just sent out another Twitter. 
Um, and we're trying to gather a crowd to talk to Mark Christopher Lawrence, some of the exciting things that are happening. So some of the stuff I want to check in with you about is, by the way, congratulations on being uh, on an Emmy award-winning show. <laughs> Now, technically, this is the second Emmy because because Merritt won one for the first season as well. Yeah, I, I just I realize that. It's, so it's like it really is. It's uh, it's the second Emmy that Merritt has won for stunt coordination for the show Chuck. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about the Emmys because I think the Emmys is just a fascinating uh, show. Um, but uh, does it does it make a difference um, to you that you're uh, you know on, does it make how do you feel about being on the show knowing that Thirty Rock who is also on NBC but basically they dominated the Emmys. You know, don't get me started about the whole process because because it, it's all about uh, mounting um, a campaign. And if the network is not behind you in mounting that campaign, then uh, chances are you're not gonna you're not gonna win. Right. Exactly. And it's, especially since it's NBC, it is their own show. <laughs> right. And, and and so the thing is, is 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 like you know our show is a Warner Brothers show for NBC. Right. And so NBC wasn't paying for any any advertisings or any uh, announcements in in Variety or anything like that. And so it, it lands solely on the individual to promote themselves and trying to do that and uh you know for me you know it's different it'd be different if if the name of the show was the mark christopher lawrence show because then all of a sudden there's a dollar value that's attached to that that makes sense for me to do it right no absolutely absolutely and, and that's the other thing that that the people don't know if you, i mean all you have to do is uh, if you're really interested in the entertainment world, and, and you should, I mean, if they're watching the show, I, you know, if they find this online, we talk about entertainment, entrepreneurship, just pick up Variety or um, what's the other one? The, uh, what's the one that comes out daily? I can't think of it anymore. Um, the Hollywood Reporter. Hollywood Reporter. Around this time, actually, right now, there's probably a ton of thank you notes, but right before, just go ahead and pick that up, or right before the Oscars, and you will see the, the amount of money that these production companies spend on promoting to get an award it's it's just disturbing i mean like i remember once i picked up the hollywood reporter i opened it up and inside was a fold out uh, a full size fold out color bro thing for like shrek and, <laughs> and it like weighed more than the actual magazine itself <laughs> so you know yeah i totally totally understand but anyway the, the nice thing is I also think that what's interesting about the Emmys is that because uh, a lot of uh, uh, very uh, talented shows are sometimes often ignored, there's sometimes nods. We've always seen this in the industry. There's nods to shows for technical awards just because the industry kind of knows, well, we can't give them, they're not going to win that one, so we'll give them a technical award on something. Um, I always feel like that's what's going on, but I don't know what your thoughts were on that because I see it all the time. Well, well I, I doubt I, I doubt that that's the case. I, I think I think what happens is uh, you know there there are um, you know probably over a thousand members in the Television Academy. I mean, there's there's you know you know probably thousands of members. I'm a member myself. Sure, a voting member, and. Um, so you know, I think it becomes a popularity contest. It's like it's like I think people vote for people that that they know, and I think people vote for if they don't know people in a category, then they look at the stuff that they got from from you know the networks or from uh, the individuals or whatever's posted online because there's there's a place for you to as an individual to post online for the Emmys, and you can look at that stuff and and make your decisions based on that. And um, you know, I'm proud. There's so much stuff. I I don't know that that people sit down and go, well, they're not going to win this category. We might as well give them a stunt thing. I don't think that happens. Okay, well that's good. I mean that's a, that's an honest opinion, and I wanted to find out about that. So uh, as a voting member, um, what were some of the shows that won that that stood out to you that you voted for? Um, I, to be honest with you, I didn't watch the Emmys. Oh God. I watched the first couple of minutes of of the. Uh, the opening with uh, what's his name? Um, uh, I know exactly. Neil Patrick Harris. Right, Neil Patrick Harris. Right. And um, decided that I was going to be bored. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. 
<laughs> you know, although the, the, what I watched was better than the five people that they had last year hosting. Sure, sure. No, I. Well, yeah, and that was you know again. Uh, I also think that it was odd just because, like, in the writing category, I mean, basically, in the comedy writing category, it was all 30 Rock. Right, and... and, and There's, and, like, one show that went against 30 Rock. I'm like, well, who... That's crazy. I mean... Exactly. And, and, and clearly, you know, uh, there, there are other shows out there that, that are funny that should have been there. Um, uh, the Office... Um, Chuck. I mean, I'm on Chuck, but, but clearly the writing is fantastic. Um... You know, there are other shows that are on television that are great shows that I think didn't even get a nod, and there were shows that did, that weren't even you know in the mix, you know, weren't even up for the awards, and, and um, you know it's, un- it's unfortunate. You know what's interesting is that uh, we did a podcast uh, for Geek Roundtable on Sunday at the uh, the Mysterious Galaxy Bookstore, and it was small, but you but but who we covered was fan- interesting just because it really was. The most of the board of the Comic Con currently, and then the founders of the original Comic Con. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, but one of the things that that somebody brought up was the fact that you know shows like uh, Chuck and the other show with the blonde and the three brains. I can't think of it right now, but you know they were saying that you know shows like that really would not exist without the the culture of uh, of geekness. That's that's coming about, and and Chuck is based on that. Chuck's based on the everyman, um, you know, the geek becoming the the super spy. And so I, I just think it's interesting that even though it's still, you know, it's like you, we've hit ground with shows like this in reference to bringing the the geek factor to light, but yet we're still behind the curve on the third, you know, on something like Thirty Rock again, which had a ton of money behind it in the promotions. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so before we get a break. Uh, if, we went, if we went down the line, actor for actor, you know, okay, this person's good, that person's good, this person's good. <laughs> you know, if you just lined us up side by side, lead versus lead, and then go down the line, uh, supporting cast, you know, I think I think our show is probably uh, talent-wise stronger. No, uh, yeah, I uh, well, uh, definitely in 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 some way, in, in a lot of ways, history-wise too. I mean, just resume. I mean, you guys got some serious power behind people that have been on television for quite some time. You know? well, well, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think if you put Tracy Morgan and myself on stage together in a play, I mop him up every time. I think you kick his ass <laughs> every time. I, absolutely, absolutely. I think I, I like Morgan. He's I, I like his uh, Tracy Morgan's work. But I also think that his his kinda, play kinda, is for the camera mostly. He's, it's kind of one trick pony to me. He's a one trick pony, but it's specifically it's like he's really done well with being with the ability to play to the camera, and I don't see his dimension. It's hard for me to now to see his dimension out there. Or somebody like John Belushi, who everybody always mentioned when they performed live with Belushi, they were like, "Dear God, he's good on camera, but live, he's insane." I mean, you can't take his the eye off the guy. Mm. So, I don't know. Anyway, a uh, couple of the standout shows. Actually, we should probably give Jason McCurris a call um, in a bit because I want to talk about Community. I don't know if you saw Community, but I like the show a lot. Um, no, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's great. It's like, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's like, it's, com- it's, a co- it's a comedy show with people actually uh, having time in front of the camera to act. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's one of those roles, it's one of the shows you watch as a performer and go, Wow. <laughs> That's on television? You know, it's like a play, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, any of the uh, new shows that you find interesting, that you like? Have you been watching television at all? I watched, I had a chance to watch Eastwick oh, last, God, Jamie, last night. Jamie, Ryan, what's your name? She's gorgeous. <laughs> well, I think they're all gorgeous. I mean, everybody on that show is pretty. And, um, you know, I, I, I was a big fan of the movie. And um, you know, I, I think my only knock against it was that was that the guy that played you know the devil character, it was hard to get past you know uh, Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. <laughs> but but the guy was fine, and and I think that I think that that show is interesting enough. Sure. No, I, I uh, I'm gonna watch it probably on uh, online. Um, I'm of course a. Uh, uh, 
kind of, you know, I'm not going to say her name until I say her, but I'm a big fan of Jamie, not from um, her days on soap operas, but I, you know, she's on the Sci-Fi Network. Uh, and I love the way she plays on, on there. Not only is she pretty, but she has a tendency to be very, I don't know, there's something, she's something very personable about her, and the fact that she's, you know, she went from from daytime soap operas to sci-fi is kind of a trip. <laughs> and then, then now she's back on network television at the same time, so she's on a rise, and I think it's good. Good. good, good. Uh, anyway, we're going to be right back. We're going to take a break. Mark, can you stick around? We're going to call Merritt, I think. Let's give Merritt a call. Cool. Merritt Yonka. Cool. Let's do that. We'll be right back. I'm David Comatoy. Thanks for joining us on the David Comatoy Show. By the way, uh, we're going to end this segment, so follow Mark. Mark Christopher Lawrence can be found on uh, at markchristopherlawrence.com as well as Facebook and Twitter. So look for him on there. Um, he's a great guy, and it's always great to have him on the show. Uh, we'll be right back in just a few moments. More with Mark Christopher Lawrence, but we're going to give Emmy Award stunt coordinator Merritt Yonka a call on his cell. We'll be right back. Hang on. <laughs> NoMoreGeysers.com, an auto shutoff device for broken sprinklers. Hi, just Rodney here. This is a brand new product. No.